I am not going to play with these about action figures. That's what Buried on Mars does on his channel. Link in the description. I'd go check him out. Welcome everyone to Game Time. Kyle here. Welcome back to another episode featuring some uh, fun mobile and handheld games. I got my uh, tablet right here. These are also uh, some recommended not only tablet but uh, mobile phone games as well. Just a couple of fun ones I thought that we were sharing. Uh, and yeah, that uh, <laughs> the cheesy intro was a, a shout out to Barry on Mars. Just a great guy. He's always uh, commenting, leaving a nice comment and, and sharing my videos. I noticed whenever he he's it, you know, he can. And I think, uh, yeah, I own one. So if you're checking out this channel and not uh, subscribed to him or, or haven't checked out his channel, do so. It's uh, one of my favorites on YouTube and he's a great guy, great guy for the gaming community as well. Really uh, a cornerstone, if you will. So and uh, through him, I got uh, a chance to check out a few other of channels he's recommended, and, and they're all, they've all been just great. So, super nice guy, Buried on Mars, does a fun little podcast as well called Retro Fandango with um, the great Rambox. We'll talk about Rambox, I think, on our next video, hint, hint. So, let's, uh, let's do some of these uh, recommended games. I'm just going to go through just a couple of these, play about two or three minutes of each just to kind of show off what they are. The first one is Geometry Dash. The best way to describe this, if you ever played the Impossible game, kind of famous game on the Xbox Live Arcade, uh, now on you know PSN as well as you know whatever else. It's pretty much that. And if you thought, okay, I just the volume just right here. If you're one of the people who thought uh, the Impossible game just wasn't impossible enough, thought it could be a little bit harder, well here you go. We'll start. With, just uh, let's do the second stage right here. I love the music uh, in this game. It has some of the best fun soundtracks I've ever heard in a mobile game. You can also customize your little square dude. I just have a, a fun little face on him. But you can make him with different shapes and different colors as well. A little tricky doing this. At this angle. Amazing music. So, and of course, you know, it does get uh, much more challenging. We'll even do a later stage here. Here's one I haven't even uh, passed yet. Lots of fun little tricks to learn with some of the uh, things you see on screen. So, like I said, a lot more like the Impossible game, but much, much more challenging. And I think better music, too. I'm a huge fan of the Impossible game. I'm not saying that that's uh, bad by any means, but I prefer this now. I, I cannot make that first jump. One more try here. You talk about addicting games, too. This is uh, one of the most addicting I think I've played. Oh, that was my bad. But you kind of get the idea. And, of course, as I said, really later on, what's, what's one of the final stages you can get? Oh, this is going to be next to impossible. I don't think I've seen this, really. Oh, missed a little jump cue there. Oh, okay, there little jump icons there. That pattern memorization and really takes so oh, that's a hard jump. But yeah, man, that's tough. That's tough. But uh, yeah, Geometry Dash. Or, yep, Geometry Dash. Highly recommended. Sticking with retro. Kind of an old school. Uh, I don't even want to say NES. I think NES games look better than this. This is almost like a old Atari style game here. Just a couple of stages. We'll start with just the third stage here. Kind of get the idea. 
basic uh, controls as can be. You can move left, right, you can jump, you can shoot. If you're a fan of Mega Man games, I think you'll feel right at home because it pretty much reminds me of Mega Man. I only ever played this on my uh, smartphone. I never really played this on the tablet. But it's a pretty simple game. I know I just kind of killed myself twice there, but I think we're used to the controls now. You can hear the music. It's uh, It reminds me a lot of like old school NES Mega Man music. Love it. But the object is to get from start to the end of the stage, which is usually this flashing light here. You got time trials too, you know, see so who can do the stage the fastest. But yeah, lots of that old school um, Mega Man style gameplay and definitely the music. And kind of looks a little bit like an old school Atari game. Absolutely love it. And of course, it does get harder and harder as these games progress too. Oh, I'm not. I'm not even watching the first. There we go. Don't think it's uh, vital to kill off all the enemy figures, but if you're going for points or whatnot, maybe that's the thing. So yeah, this is Commander Pixman for the... Uh, of course, I'm playing all these on Android, so... Let's see what's next. Alright, if you can go a little more old... Well, you can't get too much old school than Commander Pixman. But if you can get... Uh, they have a couple of Sonic uh, games on there and Sonic themed games. But if you're just going to do one for your mobile phone or tablet, I highly recommend more than anything... Um, Sonic CD... This one is only available on the Sega CD. Fun cutscene there. But some of the best music in a Sonic game period, and that's really saying something. Some of the best gameplay, too, in a Sonic game. Look at that, only Sega CD can do that. This one had an interesting concept of being uh, taking place in fast and future uh, environments. Like if you were to see the stage in the future setting, it would look quite a bit different. So that kind of adds a little bit of replayability, I think, to Sonic CD that the other games didn't have. So here we go. Let's see, we're going to go to the future. Or no, are we going to be in the past? I always forget right off the bat if we're in the start in the future or past. But yeah, and <laughs> I keep doing the same thing over and over. But the uh, iOS and Android, of course, do have the original Sonic the Hedgehog. We have uh, Sonic 2, which is good stuff. I don't think I've seen Sonic 3 on there yet. But like I say, if you're just going to go for one, if you only gonna have enough money for one, or have enough space for one, or only want to play just one for a little while, uh, Sonic CD definitely gets my vote. It's definitely one of the more unique Sonic games. So there we go. I think F means for a future, so. And again, that music. Ooh, great stuff. Sonic CD. Okay, our second game from Noodle Cake Games. These are the guys who brought us uh, Commander Pixman, which I showed you two videos ago. Bring us some Super Stickman Golf. I thought I had the first one on my tablet, but I guess uh, that's just on my phone here. I actually have the second one on the tablet. And I don't think, uh, to my, the best of my knowledge, have I played this one yet. So, we get to experience the first two or three holes together. Now, you don't even have to be a huge golf fan to really enjoy this. This is kind of a fun little, a very arcade style golf. There's our controls here real quick. We're going to take aim. Now, there's special uh, ball abilities too. Later in the game, we can get like a sticky ball, which just sticks right to the surface. Um, just a, a, quite a a huge variety of different types of balls you can get. So we're gonna do that. Oh, just over the hole. There we go. 
and that's this is basically the <laughs> the overall game of course uh, some of the the whole designs a lot later on get uh, a lot uh, a lot of variety in them you can take place in in on the moon uh, a very desert themed setting oh almost almost thank you thank you some achievements and some a uh, little in game currency which we can use to buy those special uh, themed golf balls that we talked about Oh, and mulligans, of course, too. You can buy those. Essentially get a re-shot. Kind of fun, some fun stages. Already the game is a little bit more challenging than the first one. Look at that, that's a lot of fun. So yeah, that's Super Stickman Golf 2, actually, on this one. But uh, both, at least to the best of my knowledge, both are free for... Uh, there's our, our power-ups right there. Something that we can get. I did manage to get both for free on the uh, Android, or I guess technically now Google Play Store. And of course, uh, both come with end-game purchases and whatnot. So, oh, if it wasn't for that... Oh, I didn't quite get in the hole anyway. But yeah, this is just a super addicting game. Super Stickman Golf and Super Stickman Golf 2, which this is lots of fun. Highly recommended. Both games. All right, last one. Uh, I have to kind of tilt the uh, tablet uh, or vertically here because we have a, a fun little jump game. You probably have seen games and play games like Duo Jump. I know there's kind of a, a fun Sonic uh, themed one, and probably lots of Duo Jump type clones. Well, this is one of them, but it kind of caught my eye because it's a Pac-Man themed one. I might have to hit the volume here a little bit. It's a Pac-Man themed one, and I do enjoy me some Pac-Man. So. It's essentially the same concept as Duo Jump here. There's stages. This is a Namco game, so you can get actually buy all their stages, such as a Dig Dug theme stage, Rally X, Galaga, Mappy, Pac Land, Tower of Draga, Xevious stage. So that's all pretty cool, or an all stage pack. Need, probably need to invest in that, because I'm having a lot of fun with Pac Man. So let's pause this here. Let's see what our opinions are. So those are some of our options. Oh, crap. Not quite sure why our Pac-Man's jumping like that. It's pretty wild. I'm trying to... Yeah, I'll just do... It wasn't like this before. Maybe I'll just do uh, the option for the... Tilt 2. There we go. I have no idea why I was doing that the first time. My apologies. Good thing this is an amateurish video. But yeah, we're tilting the... Uh, you can tilt your phone or tablet, whatever you're playing on. And try to get Pac-Man up as high as he can. We hit a ghost right there. I wanted to show you that on purpose. Uh, because the ghosts are in the way and you have to avoid them. But luckily, we do have some power-ups in this game. We can use to avoid said ghosts. And these are our power pellets right here. Now the ghosts are blue. Like I said, very Pac-Man themed game. We can jump on the normal dots that we normally eat. Oh, there's a super uh, flag from uh, Rally X, if you remember that. So we're up a certain height. We got 10,000 dots and we're still going. The ghosts will still be blue. It's a little tricky seeing some of those dots when you're going through the stage pretty quick. But yeah, tilt controls, and there's also, you know, a virtual, not D-pad, but left and right buttons that you can use to... Oh, I'm going to get it. Oh. And if you fall off the the bottom, that's essentially, you know, a whole pit. I don't want to try to do it just yet, but I think I, I might. So if you happen to go off the bottom, like I'm going to attempt to do right there, game over. So... Yeah, that's a really, really fun game of those extra stages. I think they're going to provide a lot of gameplay. So that's Pack and Jump. Fantastic game. So and it's an official Namco game, too. So that's a lot of fun right there. 
Everybody, thanks for watching uh, this video. Thanks for liking and subscribing if you've done so. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If there's some really, really great uh, mobile games that you feel deserve to be uh, mentioned, definitely give them a shout out in the comments. We're pretty easy going. And I know these are just my personal favorites. Are these some of the best you can get? Probably not. You know, there's probably a lot more fun ones. But I'm just saying these are, are simple games. They're, they're quick to pick up and play. Some of them are free. Some of them are only just a dollar or two each. So lots of fun, I think, to be had with, with the selection that I've shown. And we'll probably do more in the near future as well. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated. Thanks for liking the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, everybody. Check out Buried on Mars' channel and uh, stay classic.